As San Diego works on reopening, UC San Diego is ready to launch their Return to Learn program. UCSD Professor of Medicine, Dr. Robert T. Schooley joins us. Good morning to you, Dr. Schooley. Thank you so much for joining us. So this is the first of its kind program, and the goal really is to have 60,000 students tested, right? But right now you'll begin with 5,000 who are in their dorms. How does this exactly work? We're trying to make this as easy as possible. We have a number of collection boxes uh, around the residence halls. Uh, that include uh, kits uh, that are uh, mainly composed of a swab with a QR code on the swab. The students will point an iPhone app at the QR code, uh, uh, swab their own uh, noses, drop the swab back into a sleeve, and then drop the sleeve uh, into a adjacent box, and they'll be picked up uh, every several hours by other students and taken to the lab where they'll be run during the course of the day. And if we find anyone who is shedding virus, we'll be able to notify them uh, later today or first thing in the morning so that we can uh, uh, identify people they might have been in contact with and uh, keep the virus from being passed on. That's the way we plan to operate it in the fall, and this is a pilot uh, ep uh, um, effort on our part. Uh, Professor, uh, more on that. What, what, what does happen then if coronavirus is detected? What are the follow-up protocols? To what distance do you go to go down the line to make sure that no one else is infected? Well, we have a, uh, a partner uh, notification or exposure notification team led by Dr. Cheryl Anderson in our uh, Department of Public Health. Uh, they'll get in touch with anyone who might be shedding virus, talk to them about who they've been exposed to. Uh, we generally... Um, look back about 72 hours to see who those people might be and then we uh, go talk to them and uh, based on the level of exposure may culture them uh, may suggest that they uh, be isolate they isolate themselves for a bit we're mainly trying to use traditional public health means uh, to try to stop this virus from spreading further the same approach that was used in uh, china korea uh, hong kong new zealand that's that's worked very well in each of those places Professor, what is the protocol for staff? The staff are going to be ultimately in the same system. Uh, we are starting with students because our students are on campus now. Most of us are uh, currently working from home, and uh, the students were uh, there in their uh, residence halls and a good place to start. But the staff will be in the same, we'll, we'll use the same system for them. And this fall, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, what a monumental task to have 60,000 people coming back on campus this fall and having tests for every single one of them, right? I mean, is that the goal here? That's the goal. I mean, we hope we can come back this fall. Uh, one of the things we have to do as a country is make sure that we don't have a raging epidemic in the fall that'll keep us all home. But if we get to a point that we can come back, we want to be able to operate as safely as we can. We know already that you can't do that by waiting for people to show up sick. You have to identify the virus, uh, which happens, uh, which begins to circulate in a population several weeks before you start seeing enough people who are ill to realize you have a problem. So we want to put on our glasses and look out the front window of the car rather than the back one. Professor Schooley, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks very much. Good luck to you. Thank Thanks you. for your time.